everyone and welcome back to Strath Worldwide with me, Mr. Glancy. I do hope that everyone is continuing to stay safe and that you're all doing really well. You join me for week six of our GCSE Art Project Contrasts. I do hope that everyone had a really good rest over half term and that you're all ready for the remaining few weeks of work this academic year. What's the plan for the last four weeks of term? We now only have four school weeks remaining this summer term. I want to keep you all informed as to what we aim to cover in the remaining few weeks before we depart for the summer holidays. This week we will continue to create more visual recording linked to contrasts in the same manner you have worked last half term. Next week I will set you the task of linking a range of artists to the contrasts theme. I will ask you to select five artists and provide some basic research on each and tell me how they link to contrasts. There will be a video on this next week which will help you to get started. Weeks 3 and 4 will be dedicated to allow you the time to produce a piece of work for our online speech day exhibition. This can be in any format and can be based on a subject matter of your choice. A video will be available with more information and submission deadlines in a couple of weeks time. I hope that provides everyone with a little bit of clarity as to what we aim to cover and achieve in the remaining few weeks this term. What are we doing this week? Ah, good question. This week we are creating a water-based painting showcasing a contrast of light and dark. But I don't have any paints or even a brush at home, what should I do? Don't panic if you don't have a brush or paints at home. I'm using a cup of coffee as my paint medium today. Use whatever water-based paints you have available. If you don't have a brush, please click the link in the description to find out how to make a DIY paintbrush at home using a spoon, some kitchen roll and a little tape. Step one, getting started. Select one of your images linked to contrasts and begin your study by lightly sketching out a line drawing of your chosen photograph, object or view. Draw using a sensitive line and refine your work by sharpening up the outline and erasing any unwanted loose pencil lines. Step 2. Adding paint. If you have water-based paints at home, then please use them here. You can either use black and white or brown with a little water to create a range of sepia tones. I'm using coffee today to show you how you can paint without any actual paint materials available at home. Start by applying a light wash to your drawing. This means adding a thin layer of paint across your work. Begin to reapply paint to the darker or more shaded areas of your image. Your paint will dry quickly and this will allow you to reapply further layers creating a stronger contrast between dark and light. Continue this approach until you have created a strong enough contrast. Refine your work by filling any little gaps with paint and cleaning up messy, unkempt edges. I would like you to complete a second study using the same approach, but this time please select a different image linked to contrasts. Once you've completed both studies, it's time to add some annotation. You can start annotating by linking the images you have worked from to contrasts. Tell me how they link 
to the theme. You can discuss the technique you have used and that you have attempted to create a contrast of light and dark. Describe to me how you have achieved this. This should give you plenty of information in order to annotate this week's work. As always, once you've completed this week's task, simply take a photograph of both pieces of work and submit the images to me via Firefly. I will then mark your work and provide some feedback. If you need any help or further assistance, get in contact via Teams throughout the week and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Keep working hard, stay safe and see you soon.